Verify the identity tangent x plus cotangent x equals cosecant x times secant x. Okay, so again, to do this, we will start at the left side, the left hand side. We're going to use the trigonometric identities that we know to try to transform that into that. Okay, let's do this. So we begin with tangent x plus cotangent x. Okay, so that's equal to now again the rule of thumb is to write everything in terms of sine and cosine. So then that will give us tangent gives us sine x over cosine x plus cotangent x gives us cosine x divided by sine x. Okay? Then we want to write this as a single fraction okay so find the LCD the LCD is sine x cosine x okay so sine x cosine x divided by cosine x is sine x sine x times sine x gives us sine squared x plus sine x cosine x divided by sine x gives us cosine x. Cosine x times cosine x is cosine squared x. Now, that's equal to... This one looks familiar. This is a Pythagorean identity. We know that this is equal to 1. So we'll write that as 1 over... sine x cosine x okay then we will separate sine x and cosine x 1 over sine x times 1 over cosine x that gives us what's the reciprocal of sine it's cosecant And the reciprocal of cosine x is secant x. And that's it. That's exactly what we got. Verify the identity. Secant theta plus tangent theta equals 1 over secant theta minus tangent theta. Again, we will start at the left hand side and use the identities that we know to try and transform this into this okay let's do that so secant theta plus tangent theta equals again the rule of thumb is to write everything in terms of sine and cosine. So this is 1 over cosine theta. This is sine theta cosine theta. And we will write that as a single fraction. We have common denominators. So that's cosine theta 1 plus sine theta now it doesn't seem like from here we can go there like it's so and if we just rely on the identities that we know we might not be able to get there get to where we want to go so we're gonna use an old algebraic technique and that is to multiply both the numerator and denominator by 1 minus sine theta okay 1 minus sine theta and by doing that we can write our numerator as 1 
minus sine squared theta. If, if you do FOIL method, you're gonna get that result. And the denominator becomes cosine theta minus sine theta cosine theta. Okay. Now, what's next? This is familiar. We know that's cosine squared theta, so let's write that. Now, what's next? Well, we want to get 1 in the numerator, but here we have cosine squared theta. Like, how do we make that equal to 1? Well, if we divide, again, this is an old algebra technique, we divide the numerator by cosine squared theta and the denominator also by cosine squared theta what we will get is let me move this over here so I can have more space so what we will get is Cosine squared theta divided by cosine squared theta is 1. Okay, and that's what we want. Cosine theta divided by cosine squared theta. That's going to give us 1 over cosine theta. 1 cosine theta cancels out. Then this divided by that. 1 cosine theta cancels out. So we're left with minus sine theta over cosine theta. So now we have 1 over what is 1 over cosine theta? Well, let's secant theta, right? Minus sine theta divided by cosine theta. That gives us tangent theta. And that's it.